Okay, um, first of all, uh, thank you very much for giving us the, giving me the opportunity to join uh, this meeting. Um, I represent um, the Earth Observation for better management of the mid, uh, mid fish resources. This is a research uh, implemented under the umbrella of NAF Coast project. This project is um, a regional project funded by uh, African Union, the European Union under uh, the Jameson Africa program. Uh, and the leader of the project is uh, the National Authority for Remote Sensing and Space Sciences. Um, the PI of the project is the Professor is, uh, Islam Abul Magd, and the co PI is Professor Ilham Ali. Um, the contents of this presentation includes the fish production in Egypt and the definition of uh, what is a B BFZ and how to detect uh, the BFZ and what is our uh, area of interest and the results. Uh, generally, the pelagic fishes such as round sardinella, which is known uh, with its scientific name sardinella aurita, is widely distributed uh, throughout the tropical seas, such as the Mediterranean Sea. Round sardinella is commercially known in uh, several South Mediterranean countries, uh, such as Algeria, Tunisia, and Egypt. Our focus in uh, this uh, presentation will be on Egypt. Um, the fish production in Egypt uh, has been increased uh, since uh, um, 2018 uh, by 6% uh, uh, in 2018, more than 2017. And as Egypt has different uh, surface water uh, resources, natural resources, so this is uh, fish production rising in 2018 by uh, 5% from the Mediterranean Sea and Red Sea, and the increase um, uh, from lakes uh, by 10% and from the Nile River by three, uh, more than 3%. And the main contribution in this uh, fish production rising uh, was returns to the aquaculture. So we notice that there is a decrease in the fish production from uh, natural resources. Uh, for example, from the Red Sea, the decrease um, was up more than 5% and uh, from the mid -sea, Mediterranean Sea, it was more than uh, 3 uh, and 7%. And um, in this uh, research, we uh, focus on one kind of uh, fishes, which is known as Sardinella aurita. It's a very famous kind of fishes in, uh, in Egypt and it's a very popular uh, fish species. Um, in 2018, uh, the Sardinella aurita production in Egypt uh, was uh, about 86% from the Egyptian total uh, fish production. About 30% from this production uh, comes from the Mediterranean Sea and uh, more than 85% uh, uh, was from just the eastern side uh, of the uh, north coast of Egypt. And um, natural resources generally contributes by uh, about 80,400 uh, ton of sardine. Uh, the majority of this uh, number was from the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. And the lowest contribution was from lakes. All this amount was uh, estimated by about 386,000 uh, pounds. Um, and also we, we notice that there is a reduction in sardine production uh, since uh, 2009 to uh, 2018 in Egypt. And due to this reduction, um, this reduction returns to different causes, maybe uh, policy uh, processes or uh, different uh, reasons. Uh, this is what attracts our interest in this research. Uh, so we have to use um, the uh, Earth observation data to detect the potential fishing zones, which shows the fish availability or the areas 
which have the major uh, fish availability. This service um, benefits the fishermen uh, through reduction in searching time for a different kind of fishes and saving fuel and human efforts in addition to increasing income. How to detect this uh, BFZ or potential fishing zones uh, through using satellite data? It based mainly on two uh, parameters, uh, chlorophyll content and sea surface temperature. Uh, in which these uh, two parameters uh, are the main uh, two oceanogra oceanographic parameters that uh, shape the special distribution of uh, phytoplan phytoplankton fishes and um, different kind of fishes uh, in different uh, state stages. So um, we have to use these uh, two uh, components uh, from satellite data, the chlorophyll uh, content is um, determining the ocean productivity and uh, is considered an index for phytoplankton biomass uh, that um, is related to fish production. And the sea surface temperature is a physical uh, parameter that uh, controls the living organisms and influences also the phy phytoplankton growth. When we make integration between these two parameters using uh, satellite data or using remote sensing and GIS, we can detect the potential fishing zones or areas potentially has uh, a specific kind of fishes. As we focus uh, here in, uh, in Egypt, uh, Egypt uh, extends more than uh, 1,000 kilometer uh, along the Mediterranean Sea coast. This region is um, divided into three zones, the eastern uh, zone uh, from uh, Port Said to uh, Sinai, the borders with Gaza Strip, and the central region is uh, the Nile Delta region, and the western region is from Alexandria to the borders with uh, Libya. Different data sets has, has been used uh, to do this uh, uh, research, including uh, satellite data such as MODIS Aqua uh, and uh, the European Satellite National 3 for detecting or, or acquiring sea surface temperature and the chlorophyll A with the uh, and the monthly uh, scale. In addition, all uh, production statistics uh, acquired in this research was acquired from the Egyptian General Authority for Fish Resources Development. Um, all this investigation uh, was carried uh, during the period from 2018 to 2020. More than 230 uh, images were downloaded and and processed this research. Um, the implemented, uh, the applied methods uh, include um, after downloading and uh, pre-processing of this uh, data, we have to select the suitable environmental conditions for each parameter of, um, for example, sea surface temperature, the suitable condition for Sardinella or Hita ranges from two to, uh, 22 to 28 and a half degrees. And uh, the chlorophyll A content is more than uh, 0.2. Uh, this for a specific kind, which is Sardinella or Hita. If we would like to uh, detect other type of uh, fishes, we have to uh, detect know the specific range of each fish species to apply this model. And this uh, process has been implemented using an ArcGIS uh, model to define the areas um, the areas uh, of uh, BFZ. Um, first, the results show with the variations in sea surface temperature in our region. Um, in which the 
uh, sea surface temperature was higher near the coastal region. And uh, this uh, variation between the open sea and the coastal uh, region, increasing the upwelling of water and water mig migration from coal to uh, warm regions, which um, helps uh, fish migration and uh, influences uh, the potential fishing zones. Also, the variations in chlorophyll content, um, just the major or the large uh, variation in uh, the data was also concentrated on the um, uh, coast, sorry, on the coastal region. And uh, this also influences the water upwelling, uh, upwelling and uh, migration, which leads it to um, movement of nutrient and food to uh, the areas of uh, fish accumulation. After integration of these two parameters, we could uh, detect the uh, potential fishing zones for Sardinella orita in the three years, uh, monthly for uh, 2018 from May to November and also uh, for uh, 2019 from May to um, November. Uh, for uh, 2020, this is a very, it's a, a potential fishing zones from May to September. Uh, we notice that there is uh, changes in the area of PFZ uh, between month difference uh, in area between months. And we notice that in summer months with higher uh, surface temperature, there is a decrease in the potential fishing zones. Uh, this means that this higher temperature is not suitable, suitable for the accumulation of uh, this kind of fish. But it, it's um, suitable for the months with uh, moderate temperature, uh, like um, spring and um, the end of summer season. Uh, as a part of an Afghost project also, we have uh, performed this um, analysis along the North African coast. Um, over, we, we noticed here that the uh, potential fishing zones over Egypt and uh, some uh, over the Atlantic Ocean, um, next to Mauritania and Morocco. And um, this is on the daily scale, uh, the, uh, an example uh, on the 6th and 4th of June uh, 2020. This is another example uh, of um, the daily uh, uh, BFZ uh, on 8th of June 2020. Uh, we notice by this analysis that uh, the potential fishing zones differ, differ from country to another. Uh, these are the four countries, the partners of uh, the NAFCOST project. And uh, this depends on the variation of sea surface temperature and chlorophyll content. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to uh, thank you for your attention and thank um, the uh, European Union and the um, African Union for funding this project uh, under the umbrella of Jimson um, Africa program. Uh, I also would like to thank uh, National Authority for Remote Sensing and Space Science and our partners from uh, Morocco, Tunisia and Mauritania. Um, for any information, you can use uh, um, nefco.org. Thank you very much.